Hi, I'm Ms. Bridget and welcome to Preschool Storytime on the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel. Before we get started, let me tell you what's happening on this channel all week long so you can know what's coming. So on Tuesdays, we have Babies and Books with Miss Farmer at 9.30 a.m. On Wednesday, we have Stories for Twos and Threes at 9.30 a.m. with Miss Farmery again. On Thursdays, you're with me at Preschool Storytime at 9.30 a.m. And on Fridays, we have All Ages Storytime at 9.30 with Miss Jan this week. Now, I am so excited about Storytime today. As you can see, it's a nice, beautiful, sunny morning that I'm filming, and hopefully when you're watching it on Thursday, it's also sunny. I chose some summery, sunny books for us today to read. But before we get started, let's say hello to each other. How about that? So I'm gonna say hello to you and you're gonna say hello to me with our hello song. Now let's see, can you remember what is our sign for hello? Why yes, it's a little salute like this. And should we sing hello friends today or hello books today? Hmm. I think we'll sing hello books today. So let's open and close those hands like a butterfly. Here we go, on the count of three, hello books. One, two, three. Hello books, hello books, hello books. It's time to say hello. Okay, can we sing it a little bit faster? Let's try. Warm those hands up. Ooh, they're nice and warm. Give them a nice cool off with a big breath. <gasps> Okay, a little bit faster. One, two, three. Hello books, hello books, hello books. It's time to say hello books. Could we go even faster? Let's give it a try. Super duper fast. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello books, hello books, hello books. It's time to say hello books. Give yourself a little round of applause. That was excellent. Thank you for saying hello to me so nicely. Well, now that we've gotten some of those wiggles out, I think we'll get started with our first story. How about that? Today, we are reading Duck's Vacation by Gilad Sofal. And I would like to thank Philwell and friends for their permission to read the story to you today. There's Duck. How relaxing. Just me and the sea, the perfect vacation. Whoa, what just happened? Who turned the page? I think I turned a page, but you don't think that. Hmm, there, it happened again. Well, that time I, I, I definitely turned a page. Uh-oh, is it me? Hey, oh, it's you, listen. I'm on vacation and I don't want anyone to bother me. Do not turn any more pages, no matter what. If I, if I don't turn the page, then, then the story is over. Do you think I should turn the page? Well, if you think so, but I don't want the duck to yell at me anymore. Okay, one, one more page. Huh, so you turn the page anyway. Look, I'm on vacation. I want to stay on the same page, to relax in my chair, to enjoy the beauty of nature. See, look at that lovely bird. Uh-oh, great, just great. Ooh, that's yucky. Should I turn the page and maybe it'll go away? That's exactly the reason I didn't want you to turn any more pages. But I kind of want to. Do you want to see what's going to happen? Oh, give me a break. All I asked for was some peace and quiet. Oh. But you can't stop turning the pages. I'm so sorry, Duck, but I'm supposed to tell the story. Fine, fine. Turn all the pages you like. It doesn't matter to me anymore. It can't possibly get any worse. Well, if it can't get any worse, there's no shame in turning a page, right? I mean, it's just a, it's just a page in a book. It doesn't, 
It's not gonna hurt anything. Oops. Do we make it snowy? Maybe we turn the page and make it go away. Oh, see, this is nice. Hey, wait a minute. Things are looking up. I could stay on this page forever. Should we turn it? I don't know. Maybe? Oh no. This would be the perfect time to turn the page. Should I do it? I don't know, there are pirates. Let's see. Okay, this is where I draw the line. I demand to return to page one. Should I turn it? I don't know. This is the last time I'm going to say it. Stop turning pages. I did it anyway. <gasps> That's it. I've had enough. Turn as many pages as you like. I'm getting out of the book. I didn't know he was allowed to do that. Oh, he really is leaving. He is really getting out of here. Was it something we said? No worries, friends, we sail on ahoy. Great treasure awaits, adventures on the high seas. Hey, wait a minute, don't close the book. Our story is about to begin. <gasps> the end. Note, we wish to inform you that when warranted, the duck was replaced by an experienced stunt double. Rest assured that no harm came to the duck during the creation of this book. And that's the end of Duck's Vacation. What do you say? Grab something that can shake or rattle or make a sound and let's play the hide the shaker game. Here we go. You shake your shaker high. You shake your shaker low. Can you shake it fast? And then you shake it slow. You shake it to the left. You shake it to the right. Shake it up, then shake it down, then shake it out of sight. <gasps> Where'd they go? Hmm, I don't know, but let's try and bring them back in three, two, one. <gasps> there they are. Let's hide them one last time. Here we go. Shake your shaker high, shake your shaker low, shake it fast but then you shake it slow. Shake it to the left, shake it to the right. Shake it up, then shake it down, then shake it out of sight. <gasps> Where? Where did our shakers go? I don't know, there's a mystery. There's missing shakers all around. Well, let's try and find them in five, four, Three, two, one. There they are, we found them. That is so awesome. Let's put the shakers away and get ready for another story. I would like to thank Sterling Children's Books for their permission to read our next story, which is When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree, written by Jamie L.B. Dinahan and illustrated by Lorraine Roca. Here we go. When Grandma gives you a lemon tree. You were hoping for one of these things. A robot dog, a drone, a computer, a phone, a remote controlled car, or headphones. But surprise, it's a lemon tree. Happy birthday. <sighs> what should you do when grandma gives you a lemon tree for your birthday? First of all, act excited. Your face should look like this. <gasps> not like this. And definitely not like this. <laughs> Next, you say something polite. Try. Thank you. It's just what I needed. Keep smiling until grandma leaves and do not harm your lemon tree. It's very special. Don't 
drop it off a bridge. Don't tie it to your birthday balloons and don't ding dong ditch your lemon tree. Dear neighbor, happy lemon tree day. No, it's a gift and you should take care of it. Now listen closely, this is important. Place your lemon tree in a sunny spot and be careful not to overwater it and prepare to battle against intruders like snails. No snails, no bugs will hurt this lemon tree. When winter arrives, keep your lemon tree nice and warm and then wait and wait and wait some more. But look, is it getting bigger? Once the snow melts, it's time to bring your lemon tree outside. Well done! Now you can decorate your lemon tree or hide behind it. Come out, come out wherever you are. <sighs> but you know what's even more fun? Hmm. Picking lemons! Woohoo! Pick them, slice them, squeeze them. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze a roo. Ta da! Now you have lemon juice. What can we do with lemon juice? Hmm. You didn't think I'd just leave you with lemon juice, did you? Hmm. Remember those gifts you were hoping for? It's good you're staying focused. Hmm. What can we do with lemon juice? Gather these things. Lemon juice, water, a pinch or handful of sugar, and a flashy lemonade stand. Cue a dazzling smile, and a ching Count your cash and head to the store. Now you can finally buy exactly what you want. What could it be? A robot or a toy car or a computer? Ooh, let's see what she chooses. <gasps> Something you can really enjoy. A big old wagon full of what? Full of plants. And share with others too. <gasps> look at the beautiful garden that she planted. And look, she gave grandma some flowers. And that's what happens when grandma gives you a lemon tree and it's the end. When grandma gives you a lemon tree. Well, my friends, everything must come to an end and so must story time. I'll see you all next week, but before I leave, let's sing a little goodbye song. So we'll close our hand like that, like a folding a piece of paper and we'll say goodbye with our hands. So that's goodbye. We will sing goodbye, friends, today. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Should we do it just one more time, but super duper fast? All right, let's do it. Get those hands moving really, really fast. Oh, they're super duper warm. So take a deep breath in. <gasps> okay. Our hands are nice and cooled down. Let's sing it super duper fast on the count of three. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye, friends. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you all next week here on the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel. I hope you have an excellent week and make sure you tune in tomorrow for Miss Jan's all ages family story time at 9.30. I hope you have an excellent day and go enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.